Back to our coverage now of teen violence in the East Valley. Yeah, the beating death of Preston Lord really taking a toll on so many families and the community as a whole. And tonight, neighbors coming together to support one another and also a school that is grieving. ABC 15's Ashley Paredes is reporting from Combs High. <laughs> Preston Lord's spirit fueling the Combs basketball team's energy. That energy spreading to the crowd in the stands and cheerleaders on the court. Following a heartfelt speech from head coach Hosea Graham. Combs High School playing against Eastmark Tuesday night. Preston's jersey on a seat next to his fellow teammates. It lifts us up because that's our way of connecting with Preston. They're also connecting with the community in a new way, as Preston's favorite color now stands for bringing awareness to teen violence with an orange out event held prior to the game. That people are willing to stand up and make a statement to try and make this community safer not just for them, but for all the teens, because there's fear. There's fear out there. The event creating a space for people to share resources and messages of hope. Courtney Rogers bringing her young kids. His death has opened up everyone's eyes about what else is happening in our community with our kids. I just brought them out so we can be a part of our community and be supportive. Preston's stepmom, Melissa, one of the organizers of Tuesday's event. Preston was not a violent teenager, nor did he promote or have involvement in teenage drama. We never thought in a million years that this would have ever happened to our child. She has been working with other parents on a grassroots movement they have created called Be an Upstander and Not a Bystander. Stand up to bullying and teen violence. That you go to an adult and let them know to intervene to stop this. Organizers making sure to honor others recently impacted by teen violence, including 17-year-old Jameer Jenkins, a football player also from Combs, who was shot and killed just weeks after Preston died, as well as 17-year-old Haley Stevens, a cheerleader from from Casa Grande, who investigators believe was shot to death by a stray bullet while attending a party at a vacant house. Parents agree change needs to happen. Not letting people forget what happened in the community, and we want to prevent this from happening by really talking to our kids. Ashley Perret is ABC 15, Arizona. Ashley, thank you.